So most of the water that's coming out of your tap is actually coming from the mountains here on Oahu and throughout the state of Hawaii. So we have native forests that have adapted to become very efficient at capturing and storing that water. So the water that you're seeing come out of your tap, out of your faucets, that's all coming from the aquifer, from areas that are receiving that recharge from rain, um, as well as streams and rivers. And those forests, the native forests here, um, help contribute to that. The Kolau Mountains Watershed Partnership is one of two watershed partnerships on the island of Oahu. It was formed in 1999, um, where eight partners joined together, um, recognizing that being able to protect the watershed required landscape level participation. Since 1999, the Kolau Mountains Watershed Partnership has grown to 16 different landowning partners, and they're comprised of both public and private landowning partners. And our total management area is about 100,000 acres. Most of our activities um, involve protecting the greatest threats to the watershed, especially in the Malka regions, such as those areas behind us. Those greatest threats are invasive plants and animals, and um, invasive animals include feral ungulates and goats. Many of the projects that our, my staff is involved with on the ground include weed control in some of our priority areas, and we have a target list of the major players, including Albizia and strawberry guava. And then we also do ungulate control and assist the state with fencing, or ungulate-related fencing projects. So fencing projects that the state undertakes are usually pretty expensive, so we rely on partners that include state money from the state legislature. We have some Board of Water Supply money dedicated to this project as well as funding from Coca-Cola Company. Um, that being said, we still have quite a bit more that we need to raise in order to complete the fence. Um, so in total, I think the project is going to be about $1.2 million to complete. So we have a portion of that already secured and we're looking for other ways to raise money, including more funding from the state. So yeah, then this, this, this being the biggest watch and uh, might be one of the reasons uh, like I mentioned about the rivers that uh, you're going to build the pond. We get about three rivers kind of meeting up in one. Uh, we're going to come down and we'll, we'll want to cross this river um, and then we get back up on this thing directly at our 12 o'clock. Uh, if you notice in all the rocks, you know, you can see the thing being not, not a lot of boss, not a lot of stuff in the river. It kind of proves to us that when it does come down, there's a whole lot of water that comes down this area. This is the first corporate partnership that we have that I know about um, here on Oahu. So Coca-Cola Company is contributing um, a significant portion of money to see this fence completed. And obviously it's a great start to what we hope will be um, continued partnership with Coke as well as perhaps other corporations and entities that are outside the usual scope of the partners that we work with. Uh, currently coming up on this second range, coming into what is the second of possibly six coaches that we will be crossing over. I'm going to be headed to the south. The ridge right to our, uh, to our right is the finger we want to come up on. We try to concentrate in some areas where there will be the least amount of clay. Uh, that way I'll impact it. Really incredibly rugged, my staff. Not me, but my staff are super tough, super fit, and they're incredibly well trained. We access most of the areas that we work in um, using helicopters. Very few of the areas that we work in have trails that lead into them. And it's a great privilege actually to do the work where we, where we do because very few people have the opportunity to get into the, this beautiful landscape. Having a partner that is not one of our landowners, but is an outside partner, um, is really wonderful. We maintain our organization, our funding for our organization does come from a variety of different sources, both private 
and public. Um, this is our first step into a corporate uh, partnership and um, we're excited about the prospect of uh, a future of this receiving this type of funding in the future. These partnerships are extremely important. Like I said, it allows us opportunities to leverage federal funds uh, to do great work on public lands um, that again, you know, enhances you know, our, our ability to do forest restoration and watershed management. So yeah, it's a tremendous opportunity and bringing Coca-Cola to the table in Hawaii is, is uh, another great opportunity for, for our friends from Coca-Cola to, to, to kind of join, um, join us um, in our projects, uh, not only with uh, the DLNR, but, but other partners in Hawaii.